Windsor is preparing to farewell its most loved royal resident. Other family members may come and go, but the Queen's presence will be felt here long after she's laid to rest. While there's still a sense of sadness over what's been lost, there's also anticipation about what the future holds. To be honest, I'm very excited about um, the prospect of um, William Kate coming up on the throne. They're my age, so I think they'll bring kind of more relevance. They're the next generation, so um, yeah, more in touch with the younger people. King Charles may not have as long a reign, no. and they're already practicing their part, aren't they? Exactly. I think we see his grandmother in him a lot. We see a lot of um, selflessness about him, don't we? The royals will be hoping the couple's popularity and relative youth can boost the king's own brand. It's a strategy they've been using for many years. I can't keep up with all the different yeah. new bands and everything else that bob up on the scene. These two, see, play this stuff and I'm sitting there going... <laughs> <laughs> the monarchy is keenly aware that for it to survive, it depends on public support. And a king who loses public support risks losing his throne. King Charles is said to want a slimmed down monarchy with fewer royals doing more of the work. Harry and Meghan's departure helps achieve that, but it also means there's more pressure on William and Kate to fly the family flag. That means more trips to places like Australia, where the monarchy's future is far from certain, and continued campaigning on issues like climate change, which the Prince says makes him fear for future generations. Young people now are growing up where their futures are basically being threatened the whole time. The future king also faces a conundrum. On the one hand, he needs to appear down to earth and give the public a glimpse into his family life, but he can't give too much away either. We want them to be figures that we respect and revere, as we all respected and revered the late queen, but at the same time, we want them to be people like us. This is a very difficult balance for the monarchy to strike. Prince William says he doesn't lie awake waiting to be king, but in time, the crown will be his. His grandmother's reign won't be quickly forgotten and he'll have big shoes to fill. Nick Doll, ABC News, Windsor.